Krakatoa East of Java is a 1968 movie that takes you on a thrilling adventure to the heart of one of the most catastrophic volcanic eruptions in history. The film follows a diverse group of characters as they navigate the treacherous waters surrounding the infamous Krakatoa volcano. With its mix of action, drama, and suspense, there's never a dull moment in this epic tale. As you watch, you'll encounter a variety of characters, each with their own unique stories and motivations. From brave sailors to cunning treasure hunters, there's something for everyone in this gripping adventure. And be prepared for some surprising twists and turns along the way this movie is full of funny, shocking, and even sad moments that will keep you on the edge of your seat. One of the highlights of Krakatoa East of Java is the stellar cast, including some classic Hollywood actors who deliver memorable performances. Whether it's their charisma, wit, or sheer talent, you're sure to find a favorite among them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as Krakatoa East of Java takes you on a cinematic journey like no other. And don't forget to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie. We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts. You won't want to miss a single moment of this thrilling adventure. An adventure movie, despite some slow parts, that effectively portrays the human drama of characters facing danger from Krakatoa. The film balances action with character development, offering emotionally powerful moments. Dane Baker delivers a beautiful performance, complemented by Maximilian Schell and the entire cast. Recommended for those seeking an engaging story with impressive visuals. While it has its flaws, including hokey dialogue and occasional bad acting, the film's stunning special effects, particularly the volcanic eruption scenes, make it worth watching. Despite inaccuracies and minor plot issues, it remains an enjoyable adventure with notable performances from actors like Maximilian Schell and Dean Baker. The Blu-ray release from Kino Lorber offers high-quality viewing. In 1968, the film Krakatoa East of Java featured notable actors, each with their own distinct stories beyond the screen. Mark Lawrence, known for his role in the movie, is the father of Michael Lawrence and Tony Lawrence. Michael Lawrence, born on November 7, 1943, later became the son-in-law of actor Billy Bob Thornton through his marriage to Tony Lawrence. Dean Baker, another cast member, took a different path after the film. In August 2004, she was interviewed in the SF Chronicle, revealing her role as the head of the acting program at the SF Academy of Art. This shift highlights the diverse career trajectories actors may take beyond the limelight. Jeffrey Holder, part of the cast, had an interesting family connection. He was the younger brother of Bosco Holder, adding a familial layer to his contributions to the film. The Holder brothers brought their unique talents to the screen, enriching the cinematic experience. These personal and professional details provide a glimpse into the lives of the individuals involved in Krakatoa East of Java. Beyond the eruption of the volcano portrayed in the film, the actors carried their own narratives, adding depth to the overall cinematic experience. During the production of the movie, Rome was expanding its subway system. Some of the excavated dirt was used in the film. Eugene Lurier arranged to utilize a 70-foot mound of dirt from Rome's subway extension as a miniature model for the Krakatoa scene. Rossano Brasi, who appeared in the film, studied at San Marco University in Florence, Italy, where he had lived since he was four years old. Maximilian Schell, another actor in the movie, was the uncle of Oliver Schell and Marie Therzrelin. Situated off the coast of Java lies an island famous for its massive eruption, immortalized in a movie from 1968. The film featured Sal Mineo, a well-known actor from the Bronx, in a role that gripped audiences. Interestingly, Mark Lawrence, an actor with a long career, was unexpectedly left out of the tribute at the 26 Academy Awards, despite his many appearances in films and on television. It's strange how such oversights can happen in the entertainment industry. Yet, the story of the island's catastrophe continues to fascinate people, showing how significant events can stay in our minds for a long time. Whether it's through movies or historical accounts, the legend of the volcanic island off Java remains compelling, reminding us of the immense power of nature and our ability to endure challenges. In 1945, seeking a commission as an officer in the Merchant Marine after four years service in the Marine Corps, Keith was rejected due to his poor scores in algebra. He served in the United States Marine Corps in World War II and received an Air Medal. He was the rear-facing gunner on an SBD Dauntless, a scout bomber used extensively by the Marine Corps and Navy that saw a great deal of action in the Pacific during World War II. His weapons were twin-mounted 30 caliber Browning machine guns. He particularly saw action on Rabble in the Pacific. 
At the start of her career, Dean Baker was judged by a panel consisting of Joan Fontaine, Ida Lupino, and Irene Dunn. During the making of the film, Cinerama cameras caused a disturbance with their noise, overshadowing the dialogue. As a result, all the spoken lines had to be re-recorded in post-production. Deane Baker, who starred in the movie, now serves as the executive director of the School of Motion Pictures Television and acting at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Another actor, Sal Mineo, faced tragedy when he was murdered by a 17-year-old named Lionel Ray Williams, who was solely motivated by money and unaware of Mineo's identity. Williams was convicted of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment, but was later paroled in 1990. Amidst the making of this film, significant events unfolded for the actors. Brian Keith, who played a crucial role, experienced familial tragedies, losing both his son Michael and daughter Daisy in separate incidents. Adding to the film's challenges, Sal Mineo, another actor, faced injury during the filming of a prior movie due to a mishap on set. These personal and professional hurdles marked the journey of the cast as they brought the story of Krakatoa East of Java to life. Originally produced by Philip Jordan, and his security pictures, much of the special effects were handled by them. Later, William R. Foreman took over the producer duties. Brian Keith's third wife and widow, artist Victoria Young, was almost 23 years his junior. A native of Hawaii, she guest starred with him on two episodes of Hardcastle and McCormick. On The Little People, she played a nurse. She and Keith had two children, Bobby and Daisy Keith, who tragically predeceased both of them. J.D. Cannon made guest appearances on both of the longest-running primetime dramas in us television history, Gunsmoke and Law and & Order. In the 1968 movie, Krakatoa East of Java, the cast brought diverse backgrounds to their roles. Brian Keith, a graduate of East Rockaway High School in New York, portrayed one of the characters. Another actor, Rosano Brazzi, initially pursued law before being drawn into theater while practicing in Rome. Meanwhile, Maximilian Schell, known for his role in the film, had experience in a variety of productions, including a play directed by Robert Altman in London. These actors contributed to the film's portrayal of the cataclysmic eruption of Krakatoa. During filming, Eugene Lurier encountered an issue with the large format cameras used for shooting miniatures. The Super Panavision camera mechanisms would overheat at higher frame rates, requiring nightly repairs. This limited him to a maximum frame rate of 72 frames per second. Although the eruption of Krakatoa is often cited as the most violent volcanic eruption in recorded human history, the explosion of Mount Tambora in 1815 had roughly four times the energy. Geological evidence suggests even larger eruptions occurred in prehistory. Dean Baker studied for three semesters at the University of Southern California.